Okay. I decided to let you guys see see putting one of these things in record mode. Access thy cover area. Unplug the port. Hopefully I've got the camera in a position you guys can see that. Pro tuner. Pro tuner. And you guys, let me get it turned here so you can see it. Maybe. All right. I don't remember which port I was using on this laptop. Wow, I do not remember where to go. Oh man, where did I go? VCI record start. Connect the interface, secure VCR cable. Remember to load record events when you return. Do not all VCR cable interface steering head mover. All right, so she is now in record mode. You'll see that it is glowing red. Denoting that it's it's in the record mode. Actually, I could have left that plugged into the laptop. Paid paid money to have it. I don't remember if I could leave that little rubber blunt in there, or if it got in the way. And that would be in the way. I think I was letting it hang underneath the cover there. And dangle. You gotta be careful with these clips. These things are known to known to break. All right, so there she is. I'll just stick this in my pocket, and when I get to wherever I want to record, and it's good and warmed up, I hit the button, and you got up to 15 minutes. The important thing is, before you turn the bike off, I can turn it off now, but uh, before you turn the bike off, doing a record, <laughs> I've driven right into my driveway, turned the key off, and realized I forgot to stop recording. It'll flash when it's recording, and uh, you need to stop recording before you turn the key off, or all the data you just recorded, poof, gone. So anyway, let me get stuff rigged up on my helmet here. I'm going to use this GoPro on my helmet. Um, for some of you guys who are asking about how I stacked up the um, double-sided tape, I just took some strips. There's the stock GoPro stuff. And these are just strips added to the side. And it's solid as a rock. So anyway, need to switch the modes on the camera, and uh, I'm off. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I've got like one bar of battery. God help me. Um, this is kind of a rough road to do this on. Beautiful evening sun, by the way. But see, she's in in the red mode here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, even though I can't do the runs I want to do, I just want to get an idea. Definitely has an intake bark to it now that it didn't have before. But I've got 15 minutes. I was just going to sit here and wait until the clock switched 8.15. I'm going to start just to make sure I stay within uh, within the 15 minutes. And if you don't stop it before it runs out, it does stop itself and save. 
so it's not lost if you're paying attention to, okay there's 15 more so see it flashing she is now in record mode stuff her in my pocket here and you want to kind of vary speeds around as much as you can I don't know if you can hear it, the, the additional intake bark but you want to oh grab it you want to try to do varying varying runs until it revs up quite a bit about a 10% throttle and kind of roll on it's about 20% it's kind of rough right in here though find a smooth spot you'd normally ride at but you want to get some good I've done let's, let's try like a half ah oh, great somebody walking down here this is the the problem with trying to do that you end up in these little neighborhoods and whatnot people are all out here it's stone quiet and you get some jackass hauling through on a motorcycle doing stupid stuff there's definitely uh, some some better bite to it the interest I don't mind look at that gravel the interesting thing is is how much louder it made the exhaust note <laughs> another rabbit these damn roads got so much gravel on them though tell you 7,000 rpms on a Harley that thing is wound the hell out kind of scares me I mean just because the reflash bumps the red line another 1500 doesn't mean it's safe to do that on a stock motor with stock valve springs and everything else she goes 70 in third gear <laughs> when it hits the hits the rev limiter you guys sport bike guys going shit my bike does 70 in first gear this is a little stock iron 883 boys and girls stock meaning there's not heavy motor mods or heavy exhaust mods or anything of that nature It only took me six minutes to go that far. Yeah, let's goof around on some open road stuff here. Hey, that 
70 in second gear at 7,000 or 71, 72, whenever the hell the rev limiter kicks in. Whoa. What am I in? Let's see, that's fifth, fourth, third. I'll end up running over this car. in third gear and never hit the rev limiter so I don't know what it does in third gear but that should be some some kind of good samples there trying to get into a, what do I usually cruise through here with but anyway uh, we'll pull it up on the on the laptop there and see what it looks like. I probably got bugs all over my lens. Well, shockingly, I don't. So I'll idle this thing down my gravel road. I, I like to get a good idle sample too, or real low speed. Because it was low speed and top end that, um, that it that it leaned things out because of the stock air box and stock exhaust. Um, I'd already done the exhaust mod, so it, it leaned some low speed stuff and it leaned some high speed uh, stuff just because of the, the extremely limited air box. Now this road, it gets so dry and dusty that it becomes silt and it flips it because the fender is so short it flips it straight up in the air and lands right back on the top of the fender very irritating so the camera didn't die as far as I know I forgot my remote and I wasn't going to run back in for that now if you could scream across that camera you better scream now Tell me not to shut that godforsaken key off before I stop recording. Well, let's just do that right now. Alright, so I'm safe to shut her off. Well, hello there, YouTube. It is now 10.17. And, uh... Went in, had dinner. I reflashed it. I ran it through uh, the Screaming Eagle Smart Tune, and then I went back through and uh, and uh, took took the Smart Tune information and put it into a, a, a secondary app that I purchased. That I've had fantastic, incredible luck with. It's called uh, it's called My Tune. And uh, so what you do is you, you make the adjustments with the smart tune through Screaming Eagle. Then you take that information and you copy and paste it into my tune. And then you use that same uh, uh, recording table and it takes a look at it. And it makes some, uh, some further adjustments from what smart tune did. And what I found in from low RPM, low throttle response, almost in a downward right hand swing, it fattened everything up from the, the lowest RPM at the lowest throttle setting, just like a, a shot right through the mid range up to the um, highest throttle opening and highest RPMs. Um, there was there was uh, a couple of 20 20 percent changes in there and the biggest changes were were made at the very very low speed stuff and big hold the biggest changes were at the high rpms and uh everything was rich when i ran the scream and eagle 
information through the MyTune, it uh, there's a couple of spots that kicked it back, you know, a, a couple of percent. And uh, what what I found is, you know, the combination of those two running it through the Screaming Eagle Smart Tune, backed up by the uh, the MyTune app, is just. It's just incredible. I mean, there's no hiccups. There's no. I don't know. Uh, I, I screwed up when I when I ran through here last time because I. God damn it! I forgot to take the camera out of um, medium view. So I don't know what the hell that's going to look like. Kind of narrows down any imperfections you have and how you uh, have your camera pointed will be very obvious. But uh, I don't know if you noticed uh, a couple of times when I grabbed a handful, I, maybe I could feel it more than I could hear it. Um, my screen's fogging up, so I got it cracked. I hope that's not too noisy. But um, there's a couple of dead spots in there. Oh, oh. But uh, I've been goofing around here for a little bit. Decided, I oh, what the hell? I've got the camera on there. I'll turn it on. But when I was in the damn garage, the camera died, and when it died, I I, uh, I couldn't remember where to find the uh, the VCI um, recording where it where it stores it on the laptop. Because when you hit uh, there's a point where you hit Add New, and then you pull in it's in the Smart Tune, or you pull in that recording. And then, uh, you know, it, it, it analyzes that database based on where you had it before, which was, you know, the last tune I did on it. So, uh, you know, because obviously that's what map it had on it. So it compares the VE tables to, uh, to my uh, previous setting, the recorded VE tables that I did while I was out with you guys. And, uh, and it... It determines based on that what what it thinks it needs to be adjusted to. Oh, that was gravel there. See what the hell she does. But anyway, there's my little night ride. It's now 10:30 exactly, so I'm gonna get in there and check the nine bajillion emails. And I have not looked at one email today, not a single email. Last time I looked at my little badge on my phone, it was like 3:38 or something, and that was at like. Yeah, that was about four o'clock this afternoon. Holy moly. I'm a dead man. But anyway, I am out. I will talk to you guys. Like, oh, I can't push my button. So I'm out. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening.